and we're here this morning with Tracy McNairn, a president of Carlton Golf and Yacht Club. Uh, Tracy, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Um, really appreciate the time. Uh, but uh, like uh, many of us, could you? We, we, don't, we, we don't know a lot about you. Could you tell tell us about yourself? Just talk about you. Yeah. For sure, Don. Well, thanks. Well, thanks for having me. And. Uh, so yeah, so a little bit about myself. So um, I uh, joined the Carlton in 2004. So this is my 20th year of golfing here at the Carlton. Um, I'm uh, I joined with my husband Trevor Harris, and uh, I'm sort of uh, now I'm kind of semi-retired. Uh, I still dabble in uh, in uh, corporate and personal income taxes during the tax season. So spend a little time there, but then the majority of the summer I spent here golfing at the Carlton. Um, I am a chartered professional accountant. Uh, I've been on the board for so the previous two years, uh, and I was head of the sales and marketing uh, committee, and then I was vice president for about a year and a half, and now I've taken over, happily taken over the presidency. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happily, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I just live uh, five minutes down the road, uh, just across from the Rita View um, golf course, and um, just past Miller's. And uh, yeah, so I'm uh, yeah, happily married for getting on to 30 years with Trevor, and uh, we have three children together and uh, five grandchildren. Wow, wonderful. Or maybe they'll be coming out here pretty soon. Yeah, uh, well, had, so, uh, had my daughter-in-law out for Mother's Day on Sunday, so yeah. Yeah, so. I think I saw you there. That's wonderful. Yeah. Um, yeah. Since a general uh, meeting last year, a lot has transpired. Maybe Can you bring us up to date as to what has gone on over the winter and kind of give us a state of the union uh, of the course over the winter months and how, how things have progressed at that time? Yeah, so, so well, we've been, uh, well, the board and all the committees have been really super, super busy. So um, we took over and uh, took over in November, November 1st, and uh, basically we had five brand new board members uh, coming wow. in. So that's half of the board. Yeah. Uh, so basically, the second meeting we had um, uh, last year, um, I brought in Joseph Yorkovic. And he yeah. assisted the board, and we did a we facilitated a session with us to basically um, a to get uh, to know each other a little bit better, mm -hmm. um, and, th and then also he walked us through a facilitation, basically highlighting for us um, and focusing the board on what was going to be our short term priorities for uh, 2023 and our long term priorities for this board. Um, so it was very, very successful. We have posted all of the results. They're on our internal website. And so the number one priority in the short term was really going to be focusing on the club infrastructure. Okay. So we're coming up, as you know, 60 years of, uh, of, uh, of the building uh, being here and Carlton being here. And so uh, we really wanted, uh, so everybody on the board kind of agreed in the short term we were going to focus this, this year uh, coming up on the uh, infrastructure inside the club. Right. And hopefully everybody is, uh, is uh, it's very visible what a lot has been done uh, by the house committee. Um, and so, so uh, yeah, a lot of refreshing, updating the look of the inside of the Carlton. Uh, and uh, so hopefully everybody's pretty happy with that. Um, we also launched the 60th anniversary committee, so that's chaired by Grace Thatcher. So that's, they've been doing the, the committee's been doing uh, fabulous work, and uh, they've got a full slate of uh, of events that are going on. Um, and uh, we sort of had a kickoff party. I, I saw you there at the uh, yeah. yeah at the uh, at the first kickoff party and opener. That was a lot of fun. And uh, so they've been they've been I think work meeting every single week uh, and just kind of uh, getting the slate of events and working with the with uh, Tyler and just scheduling everything that's going to be happening. So we're really looking forward to what we're going to be coming back with. Yeah. So that's been pretty busy. Uh, we took the capital projects. Uh, the House Committee has been uh, super uh, engaged, focusing on all the capital projects that were approved at the AGM. So you can see the backshop staging area. Yeah, it's very, very. It's coming along very, very uh, nice. We're very happy with the look. Uh, 
Tyler's still working through a flow of in and out and how, uh, how the new sort of structure is going to work. So that's a work in progress, but everything else is looking really, uh, yeah. really nice. Uh, we also implemented a new generator. Um, at the at the club, <laughs> super uh, we're super happy and pleased with that. There was a lot of discussion at the AGM. I don't know if you dialed in for yeah, that, but yeah. uh, a lot of discussion about it. And so the house committee really um, evaluated all the different uh, you know options and stuff like that, and uh, and we selected and implemented. And so now yeah. we have a generator for right. the first time that doesn't have to be run by gas or people getting up. In the, in the middle of the morning to come Yeah, come that's up. great. I mean, that, was it operational during the ice storm outage? Yes, it was. So that saved us a lot of grief. Yes, it did. You know, because the sump pumps are going and then the heat's yeah. going and then it's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, and, uh, and then also over the winter, we, the Sales and Marketing Committee, um, we put out a new survey to all the um, members. We had um, excellent participation. Uh, and the sales and marketing revamped and we used a different supplier this year right. and uh, we basically revamped the, um, the feedback from that and we kind of translated it into it's called a net promoter score so pretty much every car dealership uh, uh, Costco anybody that actually surveys you actually uses this type of uh, methodology right and so we basically translated 2022 survey and 2023 survey and we've really focused on the areas where we need to improvement where we're, our net promoter score is a little bit lower in particular areas um, and then we had all of the managers um, take all of the output from the survey and they have developed some uh, significant uh, uh, plans on how to action what they are going to do to action the various items that were highlighted in, okay. that, in that survey, so yeah. we're pretty happy. So that's what they're going to, they're, they're very focused on right now in Deliver. All right. So, yeah. Well, you've been busy. We, it's been very, very busy. You know, and yeah. then uh, add in the fact that our club is now open um, 12 months of the year. We have the winter golf school. We have uh, uh, food being served in the winter. Uh, we're a 12 month operation. I think that's a, that's a real feather in the cap of the club. and. Uh, be able to do that so you've, you've kind of highlighted some things some uh, is there any other future initiatives that we're looking at for the for the next like six months seven months 12 months that you can speak to so I you mean, haven't already spoken to well, it's a, one thing I didn't uh, it didn't talk about was actually just the staffing up so uh, so obviously last year we had some challenges it was very much highlighted in the uh, in the survey that we put out to all the members about food and beverage, uh, hours of operation, quality, menu selection. Uh, so we are very happy that we were um, we were able to hire Sh uh, Chef Sean. Yeah. Uh, he has really started, uh, he's been a, just an absolute positive uh, influence on, on actually filling out the entire uh, staff uh, down there. We are at full complement. We couldn't say that last year. Yeah. Um, and we are, uh, we've revamped the menu. Uh, we've input, uh, you know, Chelsea and Sean have been working together. They've revamped the menu and he is uh, developing specials. Last week was uh, an absolute uh, fantastic opening week. Yeah. Right? We had, you know, op and we're open hours of operation. We are going to be open seven days a week back yeah. to what we were uh, prior COVID. Yeah, and breakfast on the weekends. Breakfast, breakfast on, on the weekends. weekends. Come on, guys, get in here and have breakfast. I know you for a while. We yeah, haven't had it. Exactly. Get yeah, in so here. we put it, and we and we bought. That was part of the capital um, uh, projects. We did have uh, five thousand to go into the um, into the kitchen area, anyways. And so we've uh, we've um, purchased a new uh, flat top. Yeah. And so now we can get some really good breakfast on the weekend. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned one that was one challenge. Are there any other challenges that you wish to talk about for the coming year? Uh, the that was our main one. Yeah. And the staffing and the staffing also just not just in um, it wasn't just well the, our kitchen our food and beverage was the was the was the major uh, yeah the major staff like it's like it was everywhere and, yes and well, I know last year when I when I talked to Dave the other 
issue was that he realized that several board members were leaving and we needed people to step forward. Correct. Uh, you've gotten six new ones, so that obviously worked. People did come forward, yes. uh, which is great. Uh, anything, and so that from a staffing point of view and from stepping up volunteering point of view, we certainly had people step up. Um, so uh, staffing was a big one. Um, well, every, and also our model. So the management model here at the club. Yeah, yeah. So, so we changed to like uh, in the new year, managed to, so we've changed. We've gone to a two manager model and you've been working with Cameron and yeah. Tyler and that was approved at the board, uh, the AGM. Uh, that has been working out fantastically. <laughs> uh, we are so thrilled. Uh, we, um, renegotiated or renegotiated a contract with uh, Tyler and Cameron. They are committed to the long term. You can see the, uh, I, I just find that it's just a, it's very positive atmosphere. They bring some some great depth and understanding of the golf industry and, and yeah. everything else. So we're, we were really, really happy with yeah. the Imagine the going from where we were and Tyler be, uh, and that pro shop becoming the number one uh, selling pro shop or uh, recognized yeah. as, as the best in the Ottawa region. That's huge. Yeah, it is. And if you go down there now, Casey, <laughs> it is packed. My, my wife, who doesn't golf, was here on Mother's Day. I said, Marie, why don't you go in and take a look around, see what you like. Well, she came out with a blouse, she came out with slacks. My, uh, uh, my daughter-in-law's mother went in there, she bought a pile of stuff. Stuff's good down there, folks. Exactly. Get in there. I know, it is, I know. These are non-golfers that went in there and buy it. <laughs> yeah. And Tyler, he, he loves the retail experience. Yeah. He's brought in also just like, uh, you know, suit jackets and beautiful yeah. shirts for men with under the Onoir line. Uh, we've got a new contract with the, with uh, bringing different labels uh, and hats and yeah. everything else. Yeah, yeah. They've done so, a fantastic job. No, they've done a wonderful job. Is there anything else we missed? Do you want to talk about anything? I I think we co we've covered everything um, uh, we want to talk to you, but a couple of focused items that are coming up. Okay. Like, uh, so we're going to have a town hall. So we always uh, check in, uh, usually six months into to the year, mm -hmm. just to bring everybody up to date. It's going to be on June 12th. June 12th. So Monday night at 7 p.m. Uh, so, and then also, We'll just have the preliminaries because we did have our audit uh, again over and a uh, highly successful audit again this year. So, uh, uh, and so, uh, and it'll be just uh, open and people can ask questions and get updates on the course and, and uh, anything to do with the operations and, and, and stuff like that. So we'll be highlighting that. And yeah, and, uh, and speaking of the course, it's nice to have the bunkers back on number one, the bunkers, you know, and, and they're really playing well. and. Uh, uh, the course is in terrific shape. I think the trees, the tree branch removal is going very, very well. I saw them yesterday. So we should have a, a full playing course uh, within the next week or two. To, yeah. uh, so everything there is going well. Yeah, that was, that was unfortunate for the ice storm. But yeah. Yeah, it was like, just, uh, yeah, it was, it was a pretty, very, well, very hard hit. I think it was like the seven plagues. So we got the, I know. the extra snow, I know. we got the ice storm, and then we got just one thing after another, the drenching rains. And then tomorrow, this morning I get up, it's men's day this morning. <laughs> It's like zero outside, and my wife said, John, did you see the snow outside the window? And I went, oh my God. She, she took pity on me. She didn't make me ride my bike here this morning. I got to use the car, folks. <laughs> Is there anything else we missed? Uh, the 60th anniversary, again, there's, uh, there's going to be uh, another barbecue. Um, so details will be flowing out with that. And then also just a plug for uh, purchasing a stone. Uh, so uh, so there's been a few uh, communications out there so yep. far. Uh, we are going to be uh, uh, you know engraving stones with people's names and the year they joined the Carlton. So I encourage everybody, and it's going to be to, to lead into our um, yeah. into the back patio, Lawrence patio. And anyway, so uh, I encourage everybody to purchase a stone and. Uh, and be part of the Carlton history. Well, Tracy, I, I, I've spoken to a few presidents over the time period. You seem to be handling this job very well. I know how much stress you're under because you're taking the, the 
Conservatives of the club home with you every night. I get to go home and sleep. I take the Conservatives of Men's League. That's nothing. You, <laughs> you, you got the Conservatives of the club. It's like, you know, another job. And I, I want to thank you so much for stepping forward, doing such a great job, bringing so many new people on board and getting them to work as a team. I think that's the big job that any president has to do is get everybody to kind of work together as one group. And you've done a wonderful job. So. Thank, thank you very much. John. Well, thank you for doing this. I, uh, I find it very, uh, very refreshing and well, sort of uh, I, a different. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I enjoy uh, doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great. All right. So we'll talk to you again in the fall, uh, right. just before the uh, AGM, and you'll do a kind of another review, and, uh, and anything you need uh, will be conveyed to the membership. So thanks, Lauren. Thanks for joining us today. Okay, John. Right.